G'day geologists. So, today we're going to talk about what happens when rocks that are under too much pressure, they break. And what does that mean for us geologists? Well, first off, when the crust, and this represents different layers in the crust, we'll talk about that in the future, um, when the crust is under so much pressure because of the whether it's the convection currents in the mantle or two plates are pushing up against each other, they will crack. Okay? Different types of rock will take more force or less force, but they will crack eventually. Now, when there's just a crack, but there's no movement, so it's still just like that, we call that a joint. Alright? Now, when it starts to move, and it, you have this sort of slippage, the rock shifts, that's a fault. So, a fault is a crack in the rock where it's moved around, it's not stayed in one place. This, because it sticks together so well and then it violently moves, the releasing energy there is what gives us earthquakes. I mean, that's where that comes from. And we'll talk about a tsunami in particular in a minute. So, here, yeah. We have the types of faults. Okay? So, first we have the normal fault. Okay? Now, basically, you have two blocks which are next to each other. So, one block, but the pressure is on. So, you've got the, the joint in the middle and they pull away from each other. Now, the joint won't be like that. If the joint is flat, you get this sort of a one here, maybe. But if the joint the joint's not going to go straight down, so as they pull away, they slip. And one either moves up or the other moves down relative to each other. Okay, so as they move away, they slide down that, that joint. The thrust or reverse fault. So two blocks, again, the cracks are at an angle, and they're pushed together. And what this means is one is thrust upwards and the other is thrust downwards. Or they're pushed. So thrust or pushed up and down, and, and you get this sort of a pattern. And you can see here, they're moving, that one's moving up, that one's moving down, and then they push together. And see here, you get that overhang, overhang compared to the um, sort of little hill there. This one here, by the way, because it pushes this one up, that displaces water. That's what caused the tsunami in Japan. So the earthquake wasn't just a regular earthquake. Uh, well, it was, but this particular type of regular earthquake had a chunk of rock that was pushed up, a large chunk of rock was pushed up, and that displaced a lot of water, and that's what caused the tsunami. Strike slip or transform. Now, remember, a transform boundary is the one where they just move along each other. A transform fault is the one where they move alongside of each other. So, the blocks move horizontal relative to each other, and this can move roads. Here, it's got a river. You, this happens, you see the river's going straight and then it psh, moves and the river will need to find a new course. But the river isn't that straight feature anymore. Um, this can move roads, railroads as well, we've seen that happen. Now, this one here and this one here and this one here, they're your three main faults. And that's what we're after today, okay? So, good luck geologists and I'll see you in class.